Hello everyone, Andy Wilberton here at Journeys in Darkness and Light. And I don't know about you, but I love lists. And today I have a list of my 10 favorite film noir and neo-noir releases on Blu-ray for 2023. Now, most of these are in the order in which they were released, but a couple of differences. So let's go ahead and get started. 2023 kicked off with a great release of an anthology film from 1943, sort of a forerunner of shows like The Twilight Zone, a terrific movie called Flesh and Fantasy. No, it's not that type of movie, but it's got a great cast, including Charles Boyer, Barbara Stanwyck, Thomas Mitchell, Edward G. Robinson, and more. I did a separate video for this Vinegar Syndrome release, so please check that out. Warner Archive released some outstanding noir titles in 2023, and here are three of them. First of all, Border Incident from 1949, directed by Anthony Mann. It's a border noir starring Ricardo Montalban and George Murphy as federal agents investigating not only illegal immigrants, but much more going on, including Howard De Silva, and Charles McGraw, and these guys are always up to no good. The video from a recent 4K scan looks great, and there's a good audio commentary from film historian Dana Poland. For more information, check out my May new releases video at the 3 minute and 40 second mark, and a review that I did for my blog, which I'll post in the notes. I made separate videos for two more Warner Archive releases, Caged from 1950, a great women in prison noir that benefits from a 4K upgrade. Extras include a radio adaptation, a Bugs Bunny cartoon, Big House Bunny, and a trailer. The Damned Don't Cry, also from 1950, stars Joan Crawford as a woman trying to restart her life after a family tragedy, but she picks a bad crowd to hang out with. This is a great noir. So glad to see it released. Another 4K restoration, and this is probably the best looking of the three Warner releases, in my opinion. It also contains the best special features, an audio commentary by director Vincent Sherman, a feature on Joan Crawford, a radio adaptation, and a trailer. In July, Criterion released One False Move from 1992, directed by Carl Franklin, on Blu-ray and 4K. It's a neo-noir that not enough people have seen, so please check it out. A little short on extras, but the Carl Franklin audio commentary is great, and there's a discussion with Franklin and star co-writer of the film, Billy Bob Thornton. Trust me, you need to pick this one up. I covered this film in my July new releases video at about the 14 minute, 15 second mark. Next, we have Force of Evil from 1948, directed by Abraham Polanski. This is a Kino Lorber release, and it's a great one. This film is so unlike any other crime films of the era, and I believe it's one of the great film noir movies, as well as one of John Garfield's best performances. The Kino Lorber Blu-ray includes a fantastic audio commentary from Imogen Sarah Smith. This one was in the opening of my August new releases video, as well as the third episode of my Best Thing I Watched This Week series, which I hope to restart soon. I was not prepared for how good this next movie is. After Dark, My Sweet from 1990, based on the Jim Thompson novel, and it's another great release from Kino Lorber. The Blu-ray includes two extras from the imprint release from last year, separate interviews with Jason Patrick and Bruce Dern, as well as an audio commentary from director James Foley. Now, I wonder if Kino is going to be able to include more special features in future releases, especially from imprint editions like this. This was part of my new releases in September video at the 2 minute 30 second mark. Finally, a nice restoration of one of Humphrey Bogart's final films, The Desperate Hours, from 1955, directed by William Wyler, for Arrow, with some nice extras, including an interview with Wyler's daughter, Catherine Wyler. Check out my October video at the three-minute mark. 
and just released a few weeks ago as a Blu-ray upgrade, the low-budget masterpiece Blast of Silence from 1961, directed by and starring Alan Barron. You can find out more in my December video right from the start. Now, last year I did not include any box sets in my best of videos, but this year I'm going to include one. It's a Region B set from Radiance Films called World Noir Volume 1, which I covered in my December video at about the five minute mark. And there's one final set that I enjoyed. It's not quite noir, but it does involve crime. It's Poker Face, Season 1 from Paramount. If you like Columbo, it's sort of like that, but different. The show's terrific, but know that the Blu-ray set includes zero extras. But it's okay. It's fine without. So those are my 10 favorite film noir and neo-noir releases for 2023. I certainly can't afford to buy everything, so I didn't see everything. So anything that you feel like I left out of this video, just let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts. As always, if you enjoy these videos and would like to buy me a coffee, I'd really appreciate that. And here's how you can do that. As always, thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to a great 2024 with you, and I hope you'll stick around. Everybody take care, stay safe, and watch some great film noir.